So what happens when your feelings get in the way of your faith? That's something I've been thinking about lately as I am trying to do my best to follow Jesus and all that he says, uh, following his direction and his promptings in my life. But how do you base your situation on your feelings? Is it the right thing to do? I know growing up I've always heard that you can't act on your feelings because what happens is your feelings can change with the wind. I was reading a uh, book by Eugene Peterson called The Long Obedience in the Same Direction. It goes through Psalms, uh, starts in, starting at Psalms 120, and currently I'm on Psalms 125. And during these kind of, uh, in these chapters, it's kind of bringing out the overall focus of the Psalms. And in Psalms 125, it talks about how, um, we shouldn't base our faith on how we feel, but we should base our faith on who God is. And maybe that's where we need to really land on, basing our faith on who God is as opposed to basing our faith on our feelings. Because my feelings change from before I have breakfast to after I have breakfast. Or maybe before I have coffee to after I have coffee. And our feelings change based on our surroundings, based on the environment that we're in, based on an email or text that we get. And we should do our best to focus on not necessarily how we feel, but who God is. And what does it mean for us to follow God in the midst of how we feel? My feelings are important for many things. They are essential and valuable. They keep me aware of much that is true and real. But they tell me next to nothing about God or my relation to God. My security comes from who God is, not from how I feel. We are secure. God is running the show. Neither our feelings of depression, nor the facts of suffering, nor the possibilities of defection are evidence that God has abandoned us. There is nothing more certain than that He will accomplish His salvation in our lives and perfect His will in our histories.